This short video shows Charlotte and Jack enjoying a breastfeed at home a few weeks after his birth. Charlotte breastfed her first child for well over a year and as you will see is very much at ease with breastfeeding. Jack shows Charlotte that he's ready to feed and Charlotte picks up on these early feeding cues. She notices that Jack is moving his arms and legs, opening his mouth, sticking out his tongue and sucking his fists in search of food. If these early feeding cues are missed, then the last resort is for the baby to cry, which means then that more time has to be allowed for calming the baby down before feeding. Charlotte has brought in a glass of water because she tends to get thirsty during a feed. She then arranges the area where she'll be sitting before she picks Jack up. Spending a moment or two doing this means less disruption once the feed starts. The next thing Charlotte does is to arrange her clothes. For more discreet feeding, particularly when out and about, mums can wear two t-shirts, one to pull up and one to pull down. This means that there's less flesh to see. The more practice you have with breastfeeding, the more that confidence will grow. Some mothers feel quite shy when breastfeeding in a more public place, but often a subtle choice of clothes can really help and make it a more enjoyable experience. Feeding's a social occasion and when Charlotte picks Jack up she talks to him. He hears and recognises her familiar voice and clearly communicates with her, enjoying the time that he has with his mum before feeding. Charlotte holds Jack in really close to her body in a position that he doesn't have to twist and reach the breast. His head is free to tilt back and this makes it much easier for him to open his mouth wide for the breast. They've worked out between them what is their best feeding position, but the principles are the same. Hold the baby close, head and body in a straight line, nose in line with the nipple and head free to tilt back. Wait for the gape, move the baby onto the breast and the nipple is aimed far back towards the roof of the baby's mouth. The baby's lower lip will touch the breast well away from the nipple. The side view shows there's more of the darker skin around the nipple above his top lip than below his bottom lip. With a large mouthful of breast, Jack takes long deep sucks and swallows with pauses. His cheeks are full and round, feeding is comfortable and Charlotte is very much at ease with breastfeeding and able to relax and chat to friends. Mothers are often more confident second time around, knowing that breastfeeding works. With other children in the house, mums do have to multitask, but a toddler can snuggle up on the sofa for a story while mum breastfeeds, and bringing a selection of toys into the room before feeding means that other children can be occupied too. Speak to your midwife, health visitor or breastfeeding supporter if there's more you'd like to know about feeding. Jack decides when he's had enough milk and lets go of the breast himself. If he wants more milk, there's plenty available on the other side.